Oh man, I'm 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 happy as hell. I'm sorry. I'm I'm happy. I'm, I'm uh, I have no words really. Um, um, I'm just I'm I'm really surprised at the outcome. Um, I, I I didn't think I'd do this good, and um, I mean I'm here. I'm here 12 and 0, and and I'm I'm still like my shirt says undefeated. Did this fight have uh, particularly important circumstances behind it? I mean, we were talking before about uh, your grandmother. This, do you talk about that and how that influenced the fight, how, what, the, what this victory means? Yeah, my grandmother passed away uh, during my camp, actually. Um, I want to say a month out of, uh, a, month, a month into my camp. Uh, I didn't want to say anything throughout my camp. I kind of kept my, I kept my composure about it. I didn't, I didn't tweet it. I didn't, I didn't put it on public media. I just kept it to myself. Uh, Kept it as motivation, I guess you could, you could say. Um, I wanted to just dedicate this fight to her, you know, because she was always there for me. Um, she raised me as a, since I was a little kid. She was always there for me. I, I, I love this lady to, with all my heart. And it was, a, it was a shame to me that I couldn't be there at her funeral, you know, while while I was in camp. My, my parents understood, but uh, as soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna go visit her grave. You know, ha having that in mind, was that almost like something that kind of grounded you throughout this week? Here it is, your first UFC fight, such a big stage here. I mean, so much media here that came out uh, covering you here. I mean, did, did that kind of, you know, kind of just ground you throughout this whole process and not kind of get overwhelmed by the stage? Um, honestly, I'm a, I'm a well-grounded well guy. Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not one to get overly uh, hyped about myself or about uh, the attention. I'm, I'm very, very humble when it comes to the sport. Uh, I know, I know. There's that. I'm not the best. I'm not the greatest. You know, I do have some talent, but uh, you know, I, I, I'm a very humble person when it comes. To overall, overall, I'm a very humble person. I, I don't, I don't think of myself as a as a as a killer or or, or anything like that. I'm just, a, I'm just a normal guy that does his job. And what did, what was your corner telling you going into that third round? Did you feel it was around a piece at that point? And what did you have to do in that third round? Uh, all I knew I had to do in that third round is to control. Control, push the pace, keep my striking, uh, keep my striking going. Uh, if he did take me down, get back up and um, and get do it again. Just keep the striking going. I knew he couldn't keep up with my striking. My striking was way too much for him, and, I, and obviously you could tell. Did you have any questions in, in your mind about what the outcome would be when they were when you were waiting for the scorecards? Did you were you confident in victory? No, I was actually gonna. St uh, I do a celebration stomp before and after the after the fight. I always do it, and I was actually gonna do it right before I announced. I already knew I had one. Is this open to you, uh, a, a fight when the UFC does uh, make its debut in Mexico? Do you do you think this is will? Do you think you'll have another fight in the states, or do you think that maybe like your next fight will be on Mexican soil? I want it to be. I wanted to be in Mexican soil. I would love it to be in Mexican soil. It would be an honor for me to fight in Mexico. It would be an honor for me to, to to fight on that stage and to fight in my home in my home grounds. Yeah, it'd be it'd be an honor. Do you have any sense of how close the promotion is to that to making that happen? It was rumored for April, but then it got pushed back because of Kane's injury. Yeah. Where do you where do you where do you understand it is now? Um, uh, something along the lines, maybe November. I'm not too sure. Uh, it could be in. It could be sooner. It could be later. I don't know. It just depends on what how, what the UFC wants to do. Um, I'm just all for it. Uh, I think there's a there's a lot of talent to be, being needs to be searched down there in Mexico, and uh, this is a great opportunity to be able to do this and to be able to open more doors for for the Mexican uh, Mexican fighters down there. And uh, you know, I'm proof as, as to one. I'm another proof that there's another there's there's other Mexican fighters out there that can do the job. You know, Goito Perez is one of. I mean, Goito Rocabra is one of them, and um, I'm another. You just went through a uh, about. I'm sorry. Oh, you just went through about a 25 minute Spanish Spanish language scrum over there with about 20 cameras. Um, <laughs> What's this like? And that's and you were treated like uh, basically like a champ right over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it, it, it's uh it's expected, especially being from Mexico, you know, and having a, a lot of Mexican media. I mean, uh, it, it, it's gonna be expected. Uh, I expect it, um, but I, I love it nonetheless. Uh, I love the support that my Mexican fans g give me. Uh, I love the support that my that the Mexican media gives me. It's 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 an honor, you know. Uh, I was born in Mexico, uh, raised in Mexico for a while. Um, I came over to the states. You know, became a citizen. You know, I'm a citizen now of the United States, but my roots, my heritage, my heart belongs in Mexico. Did you realize that of the first four fighters uh, uh, representing Texas, you were the first one to bring home the win today? Yeah, I, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that, and uh, I, that kind of motivated me throughout throughout the before I went out there. And uh, it, it's like it's like my entrance theme said. Um, 
you can't run, you can't hide. No matter what the outcome comes, you can't run, you can't hide. So you, you, knew, you knew going into the octagon uh, they were zero and three for Texas. That one? You you knew going walking into the octagon that you were needed to represent that yeah, zero and three. I, I, need, I needed to go and represent. I needed to go and and make a statement and uh, and then you regardless of the outcome, whether I win or lose, I was going to make a point. When you first started training, um, I read that you were around two sixty or two. Yeah, like. Well, 265, yeah, more or less. Oh, you're a big dude. <laughs> yeah, well, I used to play football back in back in high school. I played football for the for the Edinburgh Bobcats. Uh, we went we went, we went to semifinals and state semifinals uh, uh, two two years in a row. I mean, I was always a big guy. I played defensive tackle, so uh, I mean, uh, I, I was always you know carried around my weight pretty good. You know, as far as as far as big goes, you know. And uh, one day I was sitting on the couch and uh, I noticed myself heaving. You know. You know from how big I was, and I was like, you know what, man, I need to get off my butt. I need, to, I need to do something. You know, I was always a real athletic person, even in football. And right after football, I mean, I just let myself go a little too much. And uh, whenever I started uh, training again, I mean, I just felt, I just felt alive. I felt like a brand new person. What, and, uh, and right now, I, I, I feel like I'm young again. What's your walk around weight these days? Walk around weight right now, especially. Well, when I got this call, I was 205. When I got this call for this fight, I was 205. That was about two months ago. Um, I was kind of angry at my manager whenever it happened. Uh, he didn't. He didn't notify me before he took the fight, <laughs> and uh, I was like, "Dude, what are you doing? I'm 205, bro. I can't make that cut yet." And uh, you know, normally I had come. I had just come off the the, the win off uh, off of Leicester Legacy, and uh, um, I thought I could make that cut real easily from set from 75 or 85 that I that I was at that day. You know, to 55 wouldn't have been that big, that big of a problem, but. Uh, I gained too much weight for after the thing after I, I got told that the kid that the cane uh, card got scratched. Uh, I gained way too much weight. I let myself go way too much. I got lazy, uh, but it's not gonna happen again. Uh, I'm not gonna go over any, any over a 185 anymore, or even maybe 175. And uh, I'm gonna continue being at this weight class, and because uh, I feel way more dominant, way more strong, uh, stronger, faster, um, just way better. Speaking of, you know, just what you had to go through to make that cut, I mean, was there any feelings one way or another about Forge missing weight here? You know, you, you made it, or do you think that that might have been a detriment to him in this fight later in the, in the rounds? It was, it definitely was. I mean, he, he obviously uh, was able, uh, was depleting himself way too much. Uh, he didn't, he didn't diet properly. He didn't uh, train himself properly for this fight. I think he took me a little too lightly. Uh, I think he, he, he saw, he saw some of my fights and said, oh, maybe I've been fighting some chumps. And hey, man, that was probably his fault. His fault. You know, my fights are up there. You know, to uh, up there on YouTube, and I don't take them down for a purpose. You know, because I want to show the people the evol the, evol the the evolution of my of my game. Um, yeah, I started off fat. Yeah, I started off slow. Yeah, I started off doing this and that, doing that. But hey, I dabbled in three different divisions, and now I'm in my home, and I'm gonna stay here. What was the deciding factor, to, you know, for, for the weight class? You know, because obviously you could have chosen multiple weight classes. Um, well, no, honestly, I really probably wouldn't could, could enough because uh, the reality is uh, my height. You know, I, 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 I'm real realistic when it comes to things like this. I know, you know, Dan, darn well that you know anybody I fight at 205, 185, 170 is going to tower above me anywhere have, from have six, the reach. yeah six foot to seven foot tall. That's not a weight class I belong in. This is a weight class I, I belong in. This is the weight class I've always belonged in. I just been way too lazy to get there. Now that I know I can get here, I'm going to stay here. Good point. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah.